Hello and welcome to the Cartoon Catastrophe, where I give you all the facts, news, and crazy reviews. Today we'll be looking at a special short from the 1970s titled Cracks. I'm going to be doing my videos in a type of vlog style, but it's more like talking about something. So just expect a lot of this. And I have my iPad with here. I have this iPad here with me because I'm able to read off more facts about this stuff because, believe it or not, this is all improvised. Now let's tackle the subject at hand. A short titled Cracks. It aired on Sesame Street in the mid-70s and early 80s. But, believe it or not, it only aired 11 times. Can you believe it? 11 times. And this is a short that is said to have terrified children. It's 1975. Sesame Street is the bomb. And I don't even know. Think about this. People have dedicated a whole website article to a cartoon. It's 1 minute and 33 seconds long. Made for Sesame Street. Aired 11 times. I can't even count to 11. But anyway, let's actually get to the story of how it was lost and how it was found. Let's begin. Now, first off, it wasn't quite famously known to the public about this until around 2008, 2009, when John Armand acquired a copy. Now, Lost Media Wiki hadn't been up by then, but there were definitely enough curious people looking for it. Some people on forums, about 20 people, were able to gather together what they thought from their recollections of it as children, and surprisingly, John Arman said in his nine-minute documentary, they actually were accurate. Now, they weren't spot on, especially because the title they thought was either a crack monster or crack master, but in fact it was, as I said before, cracks. Now you'd think from here, oh, well, he would just upload it. But to acquire it, he had to sign legal papers that stated that he couldn't release it online. The only place where he could show it to anybody was by screening it at his home. Luckily, though, one person who saw it actually did some recreation sketches of the characters based on what he had seen. Now, this was very helpful as it did give some insight as to how accurate these people were, what the short actually looked like, and John Armand, in his nine-minute documentary, was able to answer a couple of questions and create an almost recreation with um, a song that he put together that was similar to the one that had already been played in the actual video, and he read the narration aloud. Now, this was quite interesting, but they still hadn't found it. And remember, this is 2009. Lost Media Wiki isn't even up yet, so there's just people looking at this on the internet. But now, we go to when it was actually found. Now surprisingly, around 2012 though, people at the Lost Media Wiki were actually searching frantically everywhere for a copy of this thing. Now, they already checked the Children's Television Workshop, the company that archived stuff and was the company that started Sesame Street. They didn't even hold a copy. That was because a lot of tapes were taped over because they wanted to save money, you know, so that they didn't have to keep buying tapes. That's another reason why a lot of Doctor Who tapes were lost in its early years. They just taped stuff over. And that was even back in 1963. Now, this was a huge huge look for. People were looking in every crevice, every corner of the internet. They even contacted a suspected artist who would have worked on it. Now, surprisingly, it wasn't his credit, and he was also someone who worked on some of the original Scooby-Doo's. Now, they contacted him, they got a nice letter back saying, no, we do not have that, I do not have that. Um, it was quite harsh. And then, 2013, Christmas. It's leaked! And surprisingly, the person who leaked it stayed anonymous. They just sent it in a file. Now, 
the guy who actually runs Lost Media Wiki, Diakit, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know, it's Australian, please forgive me, um, he was like, okay, this is a fake. But when he actually looked into the folder, it's the real thing. Now, a lot of people, even I, suspected that John Armand just secretly leaked it, but that wasn't the case. There are definite differences that John Armand himself said were not the same. So obviously this is by someone else. Now, there were some people saying that it had broadcasted in Latin America with the Spanish dub of um, Sesame Street in the 90s. So maybe it was someone there, but of course it is in English. So no one will ever know. Just think about that. This anonymous person, if they don't, you know, say who they are, no one will ever know he le who leaked this short. But the Lost Media Wiki site is forever grateful. And you can look it up on YouTube right now. Just look up um, Lost Media Cracks. You'll find it. It's very easy to find. It has over a hundred thousand views. That's how big it was. Well, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you so much, and I don't know what else to say. Peace out! Thank you so much for getting through this travesty of a video. I really had to do this last minute on Windows Live Movie Maker, because something wasn't working with my Adobe Premiere software, but just thank you so much. Please um, comment, subscribe, give me ideas for videos, I'll do anything. I'm mostly a reviewer though, but thank you so much, and hopefully I can get another video out, maybe around Saturday or Sunday if I have the time. Thank you so much, and goodbye!